Welcome to today's DDRX. We want to decree no more living in Lodiba. No more Lodiba. Na generation. In 2 Samuel 9, verses 4 to 5. So the king said to Ziba, Where is he? And Ziba said to the king, Indeed, he is in the house of Makkah, the son of Amiel, in Lodiba. Then King David sent and brought him out of the house of Makkah, the son of Amiel, from Lodiba. You know, it is a nice narrative of the son of Jonathan called Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. This man was condemned to Lodiba. And one day, the Lord showed mercy on Mephibosheth. The Lord prompted David, you know, to remember him. So Lodiba means a place of no communication, no pasture, insignificant place, dry environment, the middle of nowhere. And this man called Mephibosheth was sentenced there. Mephibosheth, remember, was Jonathan's son. In 2 Samuel 4.4, 4, the Bible tells us how this man was dropped by his nurse. He became crippled and he was sentenced to Lodiba. He was abandoned there. All hope was lost for him. But David brought him from the lowest level to highest level to dine with him, to dine with the king. He was called to stay in high place. I want us to decree together. I decree an end to every form of Lodiba in my life, in my generation. I decree lifting to high places. I decree no scheme of Ziba will pluck me from God's hands. I decree I will not be robbed, I will not be ridiculed, I will not be abused, I will not be dropped by men. I decree my relevance will last for many generations. I decree I'm walking out of lack, of pain, of paralysis, of sickness, of abandonment in the name of Jesus. Thank you.